what is going on YouTube what's up everybody it's your girl get em girl GG coming back at you with another video if you are new to my channel welcome um, but if you have been here since the beginning welcome back um, the look that I'm actually wearing today was just something simple that I kind of wanted to just throw together um, just for the weekend me and my hubby is getting ready to go to the fair so just wanted to have a fun look um, it literally just only took me maybe about 15 20 minutes to put this look together um, so just to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned. Alright, before jumping into the actual video, can anybody detect the difference between this video and all my other videos? My eyebrows aren't done. This is going to be my first attempt to do this on camera. So I'm going to do one and then I'm going to do the other off camera. So the product that I'm actually going to be using today, I actually don't have any like product on my eyebrows at all. But what I fill them in with literally is the Ulta Beauty liquid liner the matte finish just so that like when you take pictures and you know just being out in the sun they eventually don't become shiny so I don't use like any pomades or anything like that just because I don't necessarily find them useful when you start to sweat they tend to like start melting or that shiny look eventually appears and we don't want that so I am going to try and do this on camera to see how it looks and then again I'm going to do the other side off camera and yeah we'll see how it goes. Alright we got one eyebrow down another one to go. So now that we have our right eyebrow done, I'm going to go ahead and start with winging my eyeliner, fleek that boy out, just because today's look is pretty much going to be simple. Um, I feel like the last couple of videos that I've uploaded, I actually didn't do a wing liner, so today will be the day. Okay. That was so extra. Never mind. <laughs> Um, but again, using the Ulta Beauty liquid liner in the matte finish, I am just going to do my left eye. For whatever reason, my right eye doing it on camera is just a little bit difficult. Like, it's a little challenging. I, I don't know why, but it is. But I'll start with the left, and then we'll see what happens with the right. So now that we got both wing eyeliners or wing liners applied, I'm going to just go ahead and pop on some lashes. Uh, the lashes that I'm going to be using today is by Broadway Eyes. Um, let's see. And the style that they're in is Blat 20 or B Lat 20. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but what I do know is that you can just pick them up from your local beauty supply store. Um, they have like a wispy look to them. They're 100% human. Um, they're not mink though. Um, but I really, really like how these look. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on and be right back. So now that we have wing liner applied, lashes applied, and our brows fleeked, we're going to go ahead and start with the face. Um, as usual, I use for primer the Benefit Professional Pearl Finish. I'll link the product in the description box below. Um, but I actually prefer this one, especially in the summertime, now that the summer is coming. Only because we definitely want to be a bronze highlight goddess. Even though you don't want to be looking like a, a glow ball. But you want to be able to be highlighted in the right areas. So I went ahead and just applied just literally a dime size to uh, the cheek areas or a on my cheeks in those large pores just to fill those in to make my overall look more flawless then we're going to jump right into foundation um i feel like my blemishes are fading away good enough where i don't necessarily have to go over them with uh, a concealer so i'm just going to jump right into with applying foundation to my face and i'm just going to take a flat concealer brush just because over time I found just putting it right on my face from the bottle to my face it sometimes drips on my clothes and it's hard as hell getting makeup out of fabric so we're gonna go about it the safe way and just apply one pump to each side and see that's what I really really like 
about the Maybelline 24 hour super stay it's so full of coverage and then it gives you a matte finish and then on top of it the finish actually feels like second skin and it's only 11 12 dollars you know including tax so I freaking love this foundation <laughs> So we're just now going to take our Dep Damp <laughs> Beauty Blender just to smooth everything out, just to prevent any streaks or any lines. Again, just to have a more flawless look. So, although we didn't conceal our face, before applying our foundation, I'm still going to apply a little bit of concealer up under my eyebrow bone, eyebrow bone, um, just so that my face can look even. I don't want any like really any discoloration or anything like that. So I'm just going to dab just a little bit up under my eyebrow, um, just to make that line appear more precise. And I literally just take the brush, just lightly touch it, just to get a little bit of product to apply. So now that we have our concealer applied up under our eyebrow, um, I'm just going to go ahead and conceal um, my face right up under my eyes, my chin, and the forehead <laughs> with my NARS. Um, this concealer is very, very creamy, and I believe I got a lighter color. No, actually, I got a darker color. You know what? Actually, no, I think it's the exact same. It's just medium dark. No, it is lighter. <laughs> Uh, my bad. <laughs> it's medium dark and the color that I got is Soker Diorge. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But I know the other brand or the other color that I have in the NARS is actually called Biscuit. So that's how I know this is different. But I'll definitely link this one below. But I'm going to apply the triangles up under my eyes. Again, right on my chin and then on my forehead. And then of course going back in with the wet or damp beauty blender which is going to blend everything all out. Alright guys so now that we have our concealer applied um, I'm going to go ahead and what the heck am I going to do next? Oh, contour our face. So I always cream contour only because I have like a combination of skin. I don't want to say I have oily or dry skin only because I have eczema. So I get super oily in my T-zone, but then I also get super dry like right around the outer perimeter of my face just because I have eczema, especially on my chin. So I always cream contour. And of course, I'm going to start off with contouring my face, the outer part of my face with Fenty Beauty, uh, the matchstick, and the color that I always use is Truffle. And you get a lot of product for this actually. So if you haven't grabbed this, what you waiting on? But I'm just gonna jump right into it and I just typically draw like a couple of lines on each side. And then I draw three lines on that big ass forehead of mine. And then I kind of go around my jawline and then I take this brush I absolutely freaking love this brush this is the pro contour sweet brush sculptor and the number 97 I absolutely love this brush I think it was like I want to say it retail for about maybe 20 or 30 dollars but it's definitely worth the price and it gets the job done for sure and I literally just kind of like sweep back and forth just blending everything in Uh. 
Then I am going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Dark Cocoa just to get that nose because we all know how I hate my button nose. Freaking hate it, but not enough to go under the knife. But we about to snatch that mother and have it looking just right. So. To blend everything out, I just take a smaller brush. This is by BH Cosmetics. It doesn't have a number, but it's just a flat brush, very similar to the brush that I use to set the powder up under my eyes, and I just blend that all out. Snatched, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and set that contour um, with my famous Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. And I just literally kind of go around where I just apply the contour on my face, just again to help set that so the product doesn't move later on throughout the day. And you just take a brush. And the brush I'm using is by BH Cosmetics. And this one is numbered, it's in the number 125. And I dab off the product just because we don't want any blotchiness. Um, but I just apply it like so, just swirling that around where I contour it, just to give us some color. And then to set my nose, again using a different product, it's by Too Faced and it's a bronzer, but this is Dark Chocolate Soleil, it's in a deep tan matte bronzer, just because I sweat a lot on my nose it's when I start getting hot. <laughs> Girl, be drip drip. Um, so I just kind of go in with a matte bronzer to help keep that that contour set and in place. And I just take a brush, a flat brush, the one that I blended my my uh, contour out earlier, and then just kind of like lightly press into the product, dab to try to get some of that excess out, and then just gently kind of like glide over where I contoured on my nose. Alright, now that it's done, we want to go ahead and set our powder using Too Faced, the Too Faced Prime Poreless. Um, just going in with my Sephora Pro Contour Precision Brush in the number 79. And then I just swivel, dab, and then press. Alright, so now that we've set our face with the powder, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with some setting spray and I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Okay, so now that we've allowed our setting spray to set and dry, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and apply a, just a little bit of blush. Um, and what I'm going to be using is by California, it's by Benefits. And the color is Sunny Golden Pink Blush. It's actually become one of my faves recently just because it's so pretty. And then it kind of gives like a little highlight too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Camera's not really picking up. Camera's really not doing the color any justice. But on it is gorgeous. So if you're in Sephora, Sephora, <laughs> um, just take a look at it. Pick it up if you like it. Trust me, you'll end up liking it. And then I just apply... Just a little bit on my cheeks. Just dab it. And the brush that I'm actually using to apply the to apply the blush is by NYX and it is 05. Give my cheeks a little bit of color. A little bit of cuddler. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, so now that I have my blush applied, I'm gonna go and apply my highlighter, which is my famous Fenty Beauty 
Kilowatt and Hustler Baby. And I'm actually going to take a fan brush. And this is by BH Cosmetics as well. This doesn't have a number, but again, if you take a look at their site, you'll see this big mofo. It ain't hard to miss. Um, and I just pop it open. Wait, wait. Pop it open. <laughs> and just go back and forth. And apply to those cheeks. think this braid is making me ratchet because I don't act like this and I for damn sure ain't expose this behavior in any of my other videos I really believe that it's this braid well you know what I don't even care Alright guys, so now that we have our lashes applied foundation set brows on fleek and you know just everything else damn near finished except for our lips we're gonna go ahead and set our face our face <laughs> with the Urban Decay um, D slick I believe this is an all-nighter as well um, yep it certainly is it's makeup setting spray oil control all-nighter um, temperature control paraben free oil free yep so we're gonna finish the entire look with applying our lips Today I'm actually going to do a bold red lip um, just because I haven't applied a red lip in a minute and I think it's just sexy. I think it's fitting for this look. You can do a new lip whichever you prefer but I'm going to line my lips with the pencil by Bite and the color is in 34. Um, the color is pretty much rubbed off but it's just a red color. I'm going to line these soup coolers. Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Uncensored, her beautiful red lip color that she came out with. You get so much for this too. I believe, I want to say it retail for about $20 maybe. Anywhere between $20 and $30, but it's definitely worth it only because the amount of product that you get in. I kind of like beat it like it's nail polish just to make sure that it's blended well. Because when you apply it, you have to be very delicate very graceful again delicate with your application just because it will bleed conclude this look thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate for everyone tuning in and watching um it, i would certainly appreciate it even more if you are to like comment and definitely subscribe even share this video as i'm definitely trying to grow my followers um but again i love you all for tuning in again like subscribe and you can even follow me on social media too girl so my Instagram page is Get em Girl GG, the same spelling as it is on YouTube. Um, my Facebook is just GG Gary, G I G I, last name Gary. Um, and then my Snapchat is GG860714. Thank you so much.